Okay. Hi, YouTube. Uh, camera's a little wobbly there, but I can get myself in the frame here. Uh, I have a box opening uh, from Cup of Joe's. I'm very excited about this. They have very fast shipping, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, I already know what's in here, but I thought I'd open it up on camera just as kind of my first box opening, because that's what you do. Let me see here. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about why I've got the things I did, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll, you'll see a review of some of this stuff a little later on, but here we go, in this nice rolled up package here, we've got GLPs, Ashbury. Um, for those of you that don't know, that haven't watched my other videos, um, I live in the Bay Area, California. And GLPs did this series called the Fog City Selection. You can't really see that because it's not super clear, but... Um, and as you can see there, all these are based off of neighborhoods in San, in San Francisco. I've always loved San Francisco ever since I was a really young kid. I'm still young, okay? But um, my parents and grandparents used to take me there, and I just have a... A love for that city. It's changed a lot, but I think it's so neat that GLPs makes these uh, these blends. So this is, I believe, this is a yeah, Virginia. Per no, I guess it's English. Ashbury brings a, a base of excellent red and bright Virginia tobaccos. Generous portions of small leaf oriental tobaccos provide a fullness and spice that give this blend a wonderfully exotic taste and aroma. Finally, a small measure of the finest Cypri Cypress Latakia is added, uh, providing deeper notes, hints of leather and campfire, and a refined finish to the smoke. Ashbury is comfortable yet distinguished mixture with Balkan heritage and a poet spirit. Yeah, I thought it was a, a vapor, but it turns out it's a Balkan blend, which is exciting. I love these Balkan English blends. Ashbury. Have I talked enough about that? Okay. Another one from the Fog City selection is Embarcadero. And what I kind of like to do is actually go to these neighborhoods and smoke these blends. I want to see what Pease was maybe thinking of when he put these together. So I'm not going to read the descriptions for all these, but you get the idea. GLP's Embarcadero. So these two I have not tried. This one I have. This is GLP's also Gaslight. And I've smoked through a tin of this and loved it. I have some put away in the closet to cellar. I don't really cellar, but... Um, if there's any that I want to save, just in case, God forbid, they quit making this stuff, it's Gaslight. One of my, this might be my all-time favorite tobacco. English, Latakia, um, really good one. I recommend this stuff. So this, what is this? I think this Luxury Bullseye Flake, I actually can't remember, it's one of the Bullseye Flakes, it's not, um, it's not Navy Deluxe Rolls, huh. I believe it's, yeah, Stock B Bullseye Flake, I think is this one, and I actually got a sample of it, I got maybe two ounces, uh, yeah, I'm excited to try this stuff, don't know much about it, but I see people smoking it all the time, and I wanted to give it Try. Let's get the air out of there, okay?
this. I'm actually not gonna open this all the way. This is a cigar ashtray for my friend. Uh, we smoke cigars together. Sometimes I have a pipe and he has a cigar, uh, but we're buddies and I didn't get anything for his birthday. His birthday was like two weeks ago, so I ordered this along with all my tobacco. And the final thing in the package, I'm very excited about this. I really gave into the hype with this one. People are growing nuts for this. You can probably even guess what this is just before I even open it. If you're on the pipe tobacco subreddit, you know that everyone needs bones. Now, which shape did I get, you ask? Stubby bulldog. That is interesting. The bowl is bigger than I thought it would be. Still looks cool. You can tell there's, yeah, there's probably the cosmetic dent that kept it from becoming a proper pipe on its own. These are still pop proper pipes. According to everyone on the tobacco subreddit, these are amazing smokers. Clenches pretty well. Not the best. It kind of sticks straight out, but I love this shape though. Does it sit on its own? Yeah, I like these bulldog Rhodesian kind of shapes because they sit pretty nicely. I hope that crack doesn't go all the way through. That looks kind of deep. This seems like a pretty thick shank though. According to everyone on the internet, these are just all the rage right now. I mean, people still recommend a corn cob pipe if you're very first starting smoking, but if you want a starter briar, uh, these are very highly recommended. And I just had to have this little bulldog shape. This one, or the one that hangs down, I don't know the proper name for that one, the shape number for that one, but. Very excited to try this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I think these are cool. Bones, it's got the little logo on there. Anyway, that is my box opening, people. Uh, it's not as crazy as some of you out there, but I think it's a good balance. Balance. We've got a couple English, a couple Vapor to try, and what is this one again? I guess it's all English. All English and then this Vapor here, so... Anyway, I will leave you with that. This just made my whole week. I'm very excited to try this stuff. And uh, yeah, expect a video soon, hopefully with me smoking out of the, the new bones. But anyway, hope everyone has a great week and talk to you soon.